And welcome back. Uh, we're we're almost all set back up here. Uh, and for those of you just joining us, uh, we're getting ready to cast our second night uh, game of the night. Uh, we have Get Lit versus uh, the ASCII Shrug. Uh, that's so popular in forums, any ask any text-based format. And uh, unfortunately, the stream doesn't show the font or that symbol in this font. So. I tried a few other ones and just didn't work, but um, I'm here with New Type, and my co-caster. Uh, good to be here. Good to be here, Synth. Thank you very much. We 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 don't we lost the ASCII shrug face. It's a sad day for Canada and therefore <laughs> the world. So, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be starting things up. Uh, Synth is getting the the draft and the invites to the various team captains out as we speak, and we're gonna be hopefully drafting within about five or six minutes here. So until that time, all of you people are stuck with me. So, um, I, you know, lots of interesting changes in the Heroes community over the last, you know, not just the last, you know, two, three days, over the last seven days, over the last month. It's been a wild ride. Um, we've seen the, 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 the rupturing of the, the Taronda stun meta. We've seen the rise of Li Ming and Rhaegar. And uh, we've seen some changes even tonight um, with the the nerfs to Kael'thas, buffs to Jaina, and all the other wild and wacky changes that have happened um, just this week. So very interested to see what our two teams uh, go with here, what, what kind of picks they, they select, what they allow through the draft, and what they ban out. So we're going to be... Uh, starting up here the map tonight uh as as it has been all week the map is going to be uh battlefield of eternity uh always a fun one you've got the two mortals in the middle of the map duking it out and each team is racing to defeat the opposing team's immortal and uh use their own once uh been defeated to to to, to push and, and get some extra damage in so see a lot of you know damage heavy compositions trying to win the dps race you don't see much in the line of like defensive comp compositions on this on this map on this battleground yep and um looks like uh we're we're getting almost set up here we're actually ahead of schedule for once holy cow <laughs> take a picture <laughs> uh man uh this is this is uh First for us, I believe. Um, <laughs> not, 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 not our fault though. <laughs> it's never our fault. Oh, well, of course not. No. Um, so uh, we're gonna get the observer link for the draft out first. Um, <laughs> zero shrug from the uh, Twitch chat. <laughs> and um, and we'll. Uh, We'll be getting started here shortly, uh, about two minutes left. So a little bit about our teams. So Get Lit, fairly new team. Uh, they've got one other match in the bank here in Chair League, uh, a match they won last week against Thunder Kitties. Uh, and we're going to see just how they do a very, very sizable stable, large uh, bank of players that they can draw from. And so uh, we're going to see who they are going to be using today. Uh, ASCII Shrug uh, has a bit more of a background with the Chair League. Uh, their first match was all the way back in January on the 21st against TAW Lazarus. They lost that one, but came back with two wins, putting them at a 2-1 a, a record right now. So they're looking to expand their lead uh, and hopefully collect another win to push them even further up in the standings here. And similarly, uh, they've got a fair number of people on their team. They've got six, so we'll see who... Uh, their five is here tonight, and let's take a quick peek. Looks like they have posted their uh, their lineups, and we'll get to those uh, officially when we uh, we enter the game and reveal uh, who we've got, who, what characters are playing who here. All right, and uh, we're just about set up here. So, um, and you know what, we might even be able to get drafting here a few seconds ahead of time. <laughs> I don't think there's anything locking us to the, uh, uh, you know, 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific on the dot. But you know what? We're 10 seconds away, so might as well. Um, but anyway, this yeah. This is going to be the most on-time draft ever. I know, right? Yeah, they got two seconds. One second. Okay. Well, 
There we go. And um, the captain's links have been sent out. So we should see here uh, a draft very shortly. Um, so uh, let's the, see here. What what are we expecting? Obviously, last... Li Ming and Rhaegar. Yeah, last match we casted, both heroes made it through the ban phase. Yeah, are we going to see that this time? Are we going to see them ban someone else? Or are we going to see those two locked out immediately? Um, very curious what uh, what comes of that. Okay, and we are in. So looks like um, we are uh, first ban Taronda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get lit fairly quickly there banning out Taronda a smart smart ban on this map she can apply her passive ability her D to the immortal mm -hmm. and grant everyone on her team a 25% damage bonus to the immortal bursting that thing down quickly so dangerous um, it gives you that 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 completely impossible push ASCII Shrug bans out Li Ming, yeah, uh, one of the surprising. most, yeah, not surprising, one of the most, you know, hotly debated characters in the game behind Rhaegar, the most hotly debated character in the game. <laughs> so very quick on the uh, on the drafts and bans here. Everyone seems to know what they want. Very interesting to see ASCII Shrug, uh, you know, sort of let the Rhaegar through. Um, if they had not banned Li Ming, um both characters would sort of be on the table, Rhaegar and Li Ming. So let's yeah. see what their reaction is here. It's a hard draft with um, with uh, uh, both Rhaegar and Li Ming being such hotly contested characters, and there are still very powerful staples like Taranda and Kael'thas. Oh, um, oh so Kael'thas are... picked and Lost Vikings postured. No, I that's troll. It. They've been trolling Murky too. <laughs> it's it's definitely a uh, uh. troll pick or troll pro posturing anyway. They know who they want, and it's it's probably going to be, like, Morales or, I don't know. Hey. They need a healer. Um, oh, we're and, not quite there yet. So Lunara okay. is picked. Okay. Interesting. I love it. Um, mm -hmm. Lunara, best specialist in the game. <laughs> uh, best specialist in the game. You take Nature's Culling at 7, and you will decimate anything that is not a hero you know, including the immortal this you're is just talking about pick. our quick match earlier where you yeah, were soloing yeah, 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 a yeah. fort <laughs> you were soloing a fort with you taking no damage you can solo anything that isn't a hero <laughs> asterisk uh, um, well we so, got a zagara pick on uh, get lit here and that's very smart yeah zagara really really is powerful on this map great um, on this map mm -hmm. i mean uh between her push uh and oh Wrong. Oh, okay. we got we got both of the orc green Jesuses on get <laughs> lit. Uh, Thrall has great synergy with Rhaegar, closing the gap with his wolf and his wind fury. Uh, Rhaegar also closing the gap with his uh, you know the the newly acquired trait uh, his with his wolf form and able to lay a lot of damage at close range. We're entering the second ban phase. You're seeing Jaina banned out by ASCII Shrug. So Jaina um, did get it, uh, get some buffs, and I think mm -hmm. that's where we're seeing these um, these bans. Yeah, we had a Jaina buff in our previous game. Uh, not a bad or idea. Ban. Yeah, we yeah. had J J Jaina banned in the previous game. Not a bad idea. I mean, that that's one less damage-dealing slot. The mages have been really popular lately, so not a surprise. Let's see how Gitlet responds. Uh, neither team has picked a tank yet. Uh, mm. the, and they may be ooh, ooh, Uther. very nice. Uther forcing ASCII Shrug into a very specific set of healers. They they have Malfurion, they have Charism, they have Morales. Uh, they've got so there's not a lot of I mean there's burst, but there's not that much burst right now on Get Lit's side. So mm -hmm. Malf actually is a viable option, especially with his um with his ease, his um his uh, roots. Um, mm -hmm. Those roots are so good at zoning areas uh, ASCII Shrug doing a great job of posturing with Murky before deciding oh so dangerous and Johanna a great pick um staple really really staple pick yeah and um, I mean she's got the HP to weather the Zagara swarm and she's got the blinds and the slows to help deal with Thrall and Rhaegar it, yeah, the, it's a pretty solid pick as a tank the blinds are definitely going to be helpful here I mean um uh Thrall is almost uh, I mean, yes, his auto attack damage was neutered a little bit, but um, and I shouldn't have used neutered. It was more like a light poke. Yeah, his uh, his he got a slap. He got yeah. he was he was roughly slapped. And with... seeing the double tank again again. I, I'm, it's I'm, the oh, okay. and no Li Ming. I I don't know what I mean. Is this 
uh, you're I'm... you're you're taking down a lot of your damage by doing this because mm -hmm. unless you know ASCII shrugs going without a healer, there's uh, we we just saw in our last game there was a there's well, there... not enough damage. But they do have the Lunara. Th that is a, that is a diff. That's one difference here. I, I don't think her if she plans on going the the specialist build if she plans on going nature's calling that is a substantial amount of damage that she's laying on to the immoral 200 mm. percent more poison damage over time um on all non-heroic targets all non-heroic targets that's buildings mm. immortals mercs anything mm -hmm. um so i i guess they might be banking on that helping them uh i mean they've got blow up potential they've got the stitches hooked into kalethos so fair number of squishy targets on get lit who still have not picked their tank and they are chewing into their 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 time pool making mm. their tank selection who do we go it's with probably here? gonna be murden i mean who, it's oh, leoric not, it is leoric oh, interesting man okay so that's a very interesting build coming out of uh get lit here or, sorry comp um that is i've i don't think i've ever seen that comp before oh we'll see i mean they're they're not the beefiest comp uh that's one thing that they don't have going for them and lily coming out on ascii shrug uh, so many blinds, so much hindrance, um, lots of damage coming from Lunar and Kael'thas. On Gitlit, you have Rhaegar on the front line with Leoric and Thrall. You have Greymane and Zagara on the back line, temporarily in Greymane's case. Lots of potential damage on both sides. Let's see how the positioning plays out from both teams. Um, don't see Lily picks too much. Uh, as far as healers are concerned, but you also don't see any stuns on mm -hmm. the side of Get Lit to Mine's interrupt her healing. To, to interrupt her healing ult. Yeah, the Sundering is it. The Sundering and the Maw, I suppose. Yeah, the Maw uh, would be a very effective uh, counter to that um, that Jug of a Thousand Cups. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, you're, she's so far in that back line. You have to put yourself so far forward to 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 get one hero. Um, I don't know. It, we're we're gonna see how the 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 hero, the players play this one out. The hero picks very very good picks. Um, very interesting to see the dual pick tanks, Johanna and Stitches. Uh, I love seeing Lunara come out into more you know pseudo competitive play. Uh, you know, and you know the teams are readying up now as we speak. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're seeing the um, the epic. Uh, Space Lord Leoric skin. Uh, yes. I, I wonder if uh, <laughs> I, I would play, you know, a cheer league just to see <laughs> that skin, right? I mean, <laughs> very, uh, yeah, very. Uh, I mean, that that they built they built their whole strategy around this skin. Since this is clearly what they're going for here, this is pure <laughs> intimidation factor. Clearly, yes. Uh, we're we're looking at uh, pure and simple Space Lord Leoric just. Crushing your hopes and dreams as as they as he does. Curious about the Lili pick. I, I want to see how the Lili gets played played in this match against the vicious burst of Greymane. Um, could be could be rough to handle. Could be hard to handle. Uh, I, I not the healer I would have picked, but you know there's there's always potential in every hero, and I I want to see where we go with that. If if Greymane does dive in, there's so many blinds. On ASCII Shrug, that he might be completely, you know, negligible. He might not be able to do any damage. So we'll have to see. Um, so, yep, here we go. Here we get started on Battlefield of Eternity, and we're going to give off the rosters once we uh, once we zone in here. Mm -hmm. We have a Super Dave I'm playing as Lunara here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to mention that. Um, and um, on uh, with the with the pony and the uh, and the. Um, monkey portraits those are that's that's some uh, foundation tactics going on there yeah no i mean we got a master master li ming and her merry band of monkeys and rainbow po rainbow ponies <laughs> some <laughs> ascii shrug portrait game on point a little less coordination from get lit so you know have to give the initial advantage to ascii shrug they've got really? my they've got my vote so far in this game <laughs> All right, so looking on the red team, um, which is ASCII Shrug, we have uh, Mist as Johanna, uh, Lu uh, Super Dave as Lunara, um, we have Kael'thas as Solarian, Solarian is Kael'thas, Ungodly as uh, the Stitches, and Calaris as the Lili. 
and, and on blue team oh sorry yep in the blue in the blue trunks on the left side uh we've got w dog is gray main zoff is thrall lazy alex lazing away on Rhaegar. Omar Gosh, <laughs> great name on Zagara, and Daddy Boo on Leoric. Yes, great name on Leoric. And with the uh, with the Space Lord mount, of course. Oh uh, yeah. The, the other vulture. Um, Zagara putting out some sight in mid and uh, not doing that five man scrap that we saw in the last uh, the last, last match. Thing. No. <laughs> uh, get lit, kind of spread out at the moment, not pressuring any one lane, but uh, it looks like they've settled into a 4-1 with Zagara at the top and the rest of their team at the bottom. And uh, smartly, uh, get lit is moving Thrall up to counteract that 4-1, uh, to help counteract that 4-1 because Zagara cannot handle this by herself. Nope. Thrall, uh, as... yeah, Thrall's a good choice. He's another solid lane bully. Oh, um, and Stitches just gets uh, wrecked there. Yeah, caught um, by the caught by the Leo, uh, the uh, the thrall. And and the additional tower damage, the fifty percent mm -hmm. extra tower damage, mm -hmm. um, really putting a hurt on at level one here. I love this decision to leave Greymane at bottom with Johanna. Um, mm -hmm. Greymane can put so much hurt on Johanna with very little punishment that she can she can provide against it. She can. Poke at him with her shield glare, but can't really close the distance unless Greymane misplays. Mm -hmm. And um, Greymane, very effective hero, really. Uh, you know, yeah. the uh, the choice to switch between ranged and um, and uh, melee you know, melee DPS, uh, really effective in, in a lot of situations. And you can definitely see his launch week was pretty good with him. Um, pretty fair. Yeah. It was no, it's no. Rhaegar buff. I mean, he's basically a whole new character. No <laughs> Rhaegar February 16 launch week, but yeah, I know. He had a good week. Mm -hmm. No Li Ming launch week, but. So, uh. So, get lit going offensive and, um, actually taking a lot of taking damage a lot from of that. Damage. Yep. Yeah, they don't really have any frontliners. Leoric yeah. is truly, uh, uh, more of a bruiser than a, um, than a, you know, a tank. Yeah, but he's gonna. There's a yeah. lot of damage that he can soak up from the um, uh, due to the uh, amount of meat on the field. Again, same, you know, uh, his, you know, his um, what 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 is that? His W? The, his his E, the escape, is what you're looking for. You looking no, for no, drain he, hope? No, drain hope that uh, yep. actually takes a lot of health from uh, from the tank. Especially tanks. in a situation where you're playing against Stitches, who has a bazillion hit points. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of just talents, we're looking at fairly standard talents. From Get Lit, uh, Reanimation, Reconstitution, Shield Build from Rhaegar, Rolling Thunder from Thrall, and Wolfheart from the Greymane. Very solid picks at first level. Uh, coming from ASCII Shrug, again, very similar basic picks. You do not see uh, Hungry for More on the Stitches. The Stitches is going a slam build with W, so he's building for damage, while Johanna, she is building more for uh, defensive and sustain, yes. Yeah. yeah, and this is actually a great choice because, um, as we saw in the last game, um, a Stitches that doesn't build for damage is, with the Johanna, there's just not enough damage on the field. No, you got to hit that Immortal. Mm -hmm. So, so, so get lit uh, with the first immortal. Very uh, large amount of shields, but it's whittled through fairly quickly under the withering Lunara fire and the uh, Kalefoss damage. Very heavy stuff coming out from uh, ASCII Shrug. Yep, and um, Lunara taking a little bit of damage, a little out of position there on the front line, but uh, she's trying to poke the enemy team as well as hit the immortal, so fair enough on her. The blinds. Uh, pushing Thrall and oh, the Orc so out, close. and the hook's just not landing on Stitches. So close. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, in this situation, though, he does have, you know, the slam to, 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 to sort of fall back on. So you see many times with Stitches, they build themselves in such a way that all they have is the hook. And then they can't make the hooks, and so they're basically, they're, they're just not there as a character. Uh, Stitches having none of that, ungodly building for a slam and hoping to put out some more damage in addition to the hook utility. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of a, a sneak attack here from... Yeah. from ASCII uh, Shrug invades ASCII, and oh, oh, barely uh, makes it out with the Leoric. Yeah, the uh, Lunara really taking some damage from that Thrall, though. Oh, and, and goes down as a result. Yep. So, unfortunately, 
um, they were not able to capitalize on that sneak attack there, but, mm -hmm. uh, Gitlet does go, d um, t uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Leoric does take a lot of damage in the front line there, and Rhaegar has to heal him back up. Interesting choice to stay in there, um. As the talents continue to progress, uh, we're seeing it looks like a hybrid Gilnean cocktail and build with Greymane, uh, taking the Incendiary Elixir at 7. Uh, Thrall looks like he's going for a very standard auto attack build with Ride the Lightning and follow through. Rhaegar going for very standard shield build, taking Blood and Thunder at 7. Zagara. Oh, and Thrall goes speed. down from the Lunara unless he can. Oh, nope. That, that yep. That uh, Lunara. The slow, poison doing a lot of damage. The slow and the poison. Uh, I think a lot of people are still, you know, I up until this month I hadn't seen a Lunara in ages. So like the degree of damage that she can do, not really, you know, you know, memorable. Not really something that I was like on the lookout for. And now you got to be on the lookout for it. And um, Asky, Asky Shrug actually winning the uh, the halftime show here. Yep. What Lunara take? Lunara took Nature's Culling. I'm telling you, it's going to pay dividends in the later game here when they're winning these Immortal fights. Mm -hmm. Big scrap here underneath the Red Immortal. Yeah, and that uh, that hook really taking out, uh, chunking out a lot of Rhaegar's oh, health. Johanna Grey goes Mane down, but still another frontliner on the field there with uh, with Stitches. Yeah, but Greymane although... will not be denied. Greymane no. going ham on the back line. Dropping yeah. Kael'thas and helping bringing Johanna down. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you have two wolves on the team, mm. <laughs> you gotta you gotta be hungry like it or something. Oh, I don't man. Know. I'm sorry. I, I was <laughs> debating whether or not to use that one. And uh -oh. Oh, she oh, is in, in a serious lot of trouble. Makes it out and mm. has to tap. Yeah. Um. Had uh had another person been there, she would have been dead easily. Oh, that was a that was a fairly close scrap. I mean, that could have gone either way. The Greymane diving in was definitely the the the, the kicker on that fight. And this is and really dangerous for Asky Shrug because Get Lit is gonna get ten here. Um, yeah, they're gonna scrap. Have, yep, they're gonna have ten off of this immortal push. Yeah, and uh, Stitches is down bottom soloing Zag, and I I don't know. They might need both of their frontliners. But uh, interestingly enough, Get Lit just uh, abandoning the push here. Um, probably more conservative. Yeah, you don't want to take too much damage from the keep, mm -hmm. or from the fort, pardon me. And it is yeah. still four dangerous damage dealers at top. True. Um, but getting tens, there might have been an, an intense uh, forward push. Oh, well, there's we'll their pressure oh, here. Oh, th there's oh, that. There's no. the tens, and there's the, the instant, tomb goes off. <laughs> instant tomb, and that is punished um, for, uh, for ASCII Shrug still being up front. Yeah, brutal damage coming from Get Terrible, lit. terrible damage. Oh, <laughs> Dustin Browder would be so pleased with that one. But uh, we see Kael'thas deleted instantly. Lunara stuck behind the Entomb, hit by the uh, Sundering as well. And yeah, so we got a showcase of several alts from uh, Get Good. Entomb, <laughs> go for the throat. Uh, okay. <laughs> <Get lit. laughs> They're, they're playing pretty good already. I don't think they have to worry about that. Yeah, I was going to say, is that a Freudian slip there? Oh, man. <laughs> but uh, we're seeing Ancestral Healing, Devouring Maw, Entomb, Sundering, and Go for the Throat from Get Lit. And we're seeing Pyroblast. It is on fire right now. Two games in a row now we've seen with Pyroblast mm -hmm. on Kael'thas. Blessed Shield, uh, Thornwood Vines, Gorge, and Jug of a Thousand Cups. For Lily, Lily going a bit more for the uh, for a serpent build actually than a dedicated healing build. Um, serpent Lily can can work. We've seen it work uh, with various uh, various you know streamers and players, both in sort of a troll manner and in a serious manner. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll see if Lily is confident in her just base healing to keep the team up. Mm -hmm. Oh, another brutal oh. tomb catching Kael'thas. Yeah. And oh, they oh and out. that maw. Um, <laughs> the weight of got, arms of Zagara. <laughs> yeah, Johanna is in a bad spot here, but actually, um, the uh, oh, the Kael ancestral is going down. The and ancestral was interrupted by the gorge. Oh no, wow! No, it went off anyways. <laughs> yeah. The ancestral went off inside of Stitches. <laughs> Stitches had a very bad tummy ache that oh, day. Oh my uh, god, the indigestion is real. <laughs> <laughs> and blue team, after picking up three kills. 
uh, goes to work yep. on the Red Team Immortal. Yeah, and uh, the halftime show going on here, which gives uh, Red Team a little bit of time to come back up. But Blue Team, uh, uh, there's a little bit of a push going on at bottom here, so... Um, they have to clean that up as well, and it really, really, I think Get Lit is just gonna take this Immortal with very little contest. Mm -hmm. um, with Lunara doing a little bit of damage. Lunara and Kale doing a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage, yeah. Yeah, that Entomb, uh, brutal. The oh, yeah. follow-up Maw, even better. Getting the Grey Mane <laughs> Ancestral Healing inside of Stitches. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Science. Science. Yeah, uh, test, testing the, the the weird questions. Yeah, that was that was a unit interaction interaction that I was not familiar with. So Lunara with the Ada Lunara and her poison, Red Team should be able to, to bring this immortal down relatively soon without too much trouble. But uh, the get pressure lit. of get lit is is That's absolutely intense, intense here. Yeah. yeah, maybe even on fire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, I'm, great sundering. Zoning out several oh, players and another, far on the right. Oh, and another Entomb on the Lunara, but and, the, the Jug of the Thousand Cups really saving the team. Well, not really, uh, just a little bit. The, the, prolonging the, the pain. The alt picks and the alt execution from Get Lit. Absolutely dominant here. We're seeing Entombs. We're seeing three four-man Maws. We're seeing excellent execution of their p most powerful abilities. Yeah, and, and there just wasn't scary. much... Yeah, there wasn't much that, that uh, ASCII Shrug could do in that situation. They're not going to get cored here with the Immortal in the state that it's in. Um, but a keep's been brought down. We're hitting the 12-minute mark. We've got a serious level lead from Get Lit. Uh, ASCII Shrug only now hitting 13. Get Lit knocking on the door of 16. It's going to be a hard, uh, hard fight to pull back into it for ASCII Shrug. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, W Dog, as Greymane here, uh, very appropriate. Uh, he's soloing a camp. I'd, that's quite impressive, really. Nailed uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we have Leoric doing the same at bottom. Well, not soloing, but taking a camp. Um, and that's going to be a lot of pressure from both directions here. Uh, it's it's going to be a comeback game here for Get Lit. Otherwise, I mean, this is dangerous. <laughs> They wisely send the Lunara up to the top alone. She's already effectively killed the uh, the push at top. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of pressure coming in from the blue team. They're looking to, to sneak something here. Oh, Catch that's... the Johanna in the Entomb. Not the optimal Tomb target, though. Yeah. That Pyroblast, though, right right from the back. Another stellar three-man Maw. The Zagara Maws have been so on point in this game. It's mm -hmm. unbelievable. Yeah, especially catching out that healer. I mean, uh, Lili... <laughs> Lily is not effective when she is in a maw, for sure. Yeah, and the Stitches damage doing well, but the hooks are just not there. And even so, the Stitches not quite, uh, just not quite getting the value that he'd like to get out of the alt or out of the hook. Pardon me. Yep, and um, looks like uh, Ascii Shrugs is going to take a camp here before the Immortal, and so is Get Lit. So we're going to have two. Uh, Two camps pushing while the immortal fight goes on here. Uh, looks like Gitlit is really feeling the advantage here and just yeah, uh, getting started. Real aggressive underneath the ASCII Shrug Immortal. Mm -hmm. Leoric taking lots of damage. And oh, and the ah, Ancestral has the to ancestral. go. Yeah, the Ancestral has to go off pretty early in this fight, which means that Gitlit is not in any position, especially with Thrall dead, um, not in any position to take this uh, the immortal as it is right now. Um, this gives uh, ASCII Shrug a little bit of time here to... Yeah, um, they, 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 they bullied their way in. They overcame a talent disadvantage. Oh, yeah, and uh, Leoric goes down, actually. So this should be interesting. Um, we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, no, they, I mean, don't count them out. ASCII Shrug can st still has plenty of room. There's the hook and Stitch's gorgeous, Zagara. Yeah. Oh, and they're going to pounce on her. Goodbye, Zagara nuked from existence yeah and uh great great spot for them to be mm -hmm. in with the uh with the oh. gara and leoric on uh on stacked not stacked unstacked rather um spawn timers here mm -hmm. so, oh that oh. sundering oh man that sundering. sundering and gray main 
leaping in and crushing it. So, uh, ASCII Shrug is, has to pull back a little bit here, losing mm -hmm. two members and possibly a third. Johanna might be going down here. Uh, and she is. That's yes. confirmed, yes. Mm -hmm. so, so, the momentum which had been on ASCII Shrug's uh, side there, now swinging dramatically back into Gitlet's favor. Uh, I mean, a lot of heroes, a lot of members at like mid to low health there and just could not be topped off in time mm -hmm. to uh, sustain the the Sundering and Greymane follow-up. That was a vicious follow-up. Yeah, everyone hit R at the same time and mm -hmm. uh, people exploded. And that and fort will goes down just in time for the Immortal to uh, spawn and get, get itself ready to do the death march here. Um, however, all five, all five members of ASCII Shrug are up. Yeah, Get They're Lit is up. a little bit, re or really aggressive right now, um, trying to push ahead of the Immortal. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if they were a little more conservative, they would wait for the Immortal to start the start the death march here. Uh, but, uh, you know, but let's see what happens. Yeah, no, uh, no punishment sundering, from that. Sundering oh, is back up. Mar is back go up. Goes on to Thrall for not enough damage. Um, Stitches is a little oh, out of position too there. Far oh, forward. Yep. Oh no. So now they they have to get rid of this immortal here, otherwise oh. it's losing GG. losing the stitches and possibly the Lily Lily oh. go is going yep. down here. That's it. That's this might be G. This is GG, guys. So wow, that was an intense game there with uh, almost a comeback at the end, but get lit. Uh, taking the fire and uh, putting it under the the, the tank, the tanky team there. So, uh, what what went, went wrong for? Yeah, let's, let, what went wrong and what went right? Uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Um, so, I mean, the 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 sheer damage coming out of blue team with Greyman Thrall, Rhaegar, and Zagara was enough to overcome the the beefiness. Of our of red team of ASCII Shrug, uh, the the Lily was an interesting pick. She went for a primarily a damage dealing build um, with the uh, the serpent and uh, for the, the shrink ray as well. I, I took the herbal cleanse at sixteen to remove uh, silences and improve movement speed and etc. I, I, I'm curious about the pick with the Lily. I'm wondering what other healers uh, ASCII Shrug had sort of in their bullpen. I feel like uh, a Malfurion might have been a, a, a better pick here. Especially or... with the, uh, the sheer amount of uh, tanks or, or, you know. Uh, so um, Malfurion does really well when it's, um, when it's periodic damage, but uh, he also does very well against, um, you know, tanks with a lot of HP, and that's what they had here. Johanna and Stitches both have a lot of HP, and because Malf's um, heal over time is is his specialty. And um, Yeah, I mean, and just Thrall's damage is not super bursty. Zagara's damage is not super bursty. Greymane is a bit different. Greymane is a, a fairly bursty damage dealer. Um, yeah, but his and... um, he didn't even take the marked... Um, uh, alt, he took the go for the throat, which is not... Um, that's a, that's... At, at that point, Malfa would not be able to keep you up. No, um, no, no. So, the, I mean, Malfa would have been a great pick for this. Um, you know, Morales would have been a great pick for this. Morales uh, would have been a very good choice, but with the Lunara auto attacks, the the Stitches... Uh, yeah, cool. Stitches does more damage. I mean, that he got buffed, I believe, uh, two weeks ago. Um, you know... No, it, it, so, uh, you know, get lit. They had a very solid, uh, you know, they had a very solid group. They had the Rhaegar, which you, you just cannot deny the power of a, having Rhaegar on your team. And those several in tombs, clutch, man. Yeah, several clutch uh, plays with the Ancestral Healing. Several clutch alts in general from get lit. They, they were much more disciplined in their engagement strategy. They, they, they drop the Entombs at the appropriate times. They drop the follow-up Maws at the appropriate times, catching two, three, four people in, in them at a time. And their follow-up damage was sufficient. They had the Greyman to jump on people. They had the Thrall to Sunder and split them following. It, you have to hand it to Get Lit. They, 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 they had a, a good draft and a solid execution with the heroes that they had under their feet. 
Um, ASCII Shrug, you know, I, w like we said numerous times throughout this cast, we, we've seen uh, an attempt at a two-tank composition on this map, and it just doesn't seem to win the Immortal fight in the speed that it's needed. Uh, the mm -hmm. damage just isn't there. I mean, Stitch has put up a respectable 25,000 damage, which, uh, you know, was actually more than the Leoric on the opposing team. Uh, you know, it put up a respectable amount of damage, but it just was not enough when it came down to the the the, the nitty gritty in the immortal fight, mm -hmm. the 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 bringing that immortal down. Yeah, I think you know, it's very important for uh, for the teams to take the obje objective on this map. Um, you know, that immortal really does do a number on uh, on the structures and 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 really helps you push. I mean, the, this there's only four structures on this map. Um. And taking down a structure is, you know, a lot more valuable in this map. So, and uh, the Thrall taking uh, Giant Killer as as probably best on this map. Um, uh, Lunara only uh, taking Giant Killer, which is interesting to me. I don't, I don't wonder if that was a I, misclick. I I can't help but feel that way. Giant Killer not a great pick on that uh, on that tier for the lineup that they were facing. Uh, you know, Greyman does not have that many hit points. Uh, Rhaegar, Zagara, Thrall, all in sort of middling hit points. Leoric, very little hit points for a warrior. Uh, I feel like unfair advantage, especially when they are with the sheer number of slows on uh, on ASCII Shrug. Johanna has a slow. Stitches, talented into Tenderizer, which is a slow. Um, unfair advantage affects all slowed targets so she lunara would not even have to expend her talent her ability she would not have to expend a charge of her w to increase the damage that her poison is doing so i i i can't agree with the giant killer pick on 13 i love nature's calling at seven i, I think you take nature's calling at seven giant killer at 13 and or not potentially or no pardon me take <laughs> if nature's calling at seven unfair advantage at 13 and potentially invigorating spores has its has its place i think it's a good i think it's a good pick but i like the attack range on lunara at 16 especially against the short range dangerousness of the opposing get lit team you have thrall you have rhaegar you have Leoric in range for Entombs. You have Greymane in range for his uh, his leap and his dive. You take, uh, I believe it's, uh, what is it, Star, uh, oh god, Starwood Spear, pardon me. Uh, you take Starwood Spear at 16, you get 50% more attack range. You, have, you can poke and deal that poison damage from such a safer range behind your tanks. And it keeps you it keeps you alive much longer. That being said, Lunara dropped only twice in the game, as opposed to some of her other teammates, which dropped uh, several more times. Some of her more frontline teammates. So yeah, Stitches was just out of position a little too much. Eh? He was taking just a little too much damage. Yeah, um, that that getting picked off at the very end there sort of opened the floodgates for Gitlet to to step in and really apply pres pressure directly to the core. If all five members of ASCII Shrug are up at the end there, I feel Gitlet would be a little less uh, willing to, to dive in on the core that aggressively. Mm -hmm. So overall, good games. Um, yes. Absolutely. Very the, solid ones tonight. Mm -hmm. The uh, uh, comp on ASCII Shrug a little bit questionable with the Lily and the Stitches, but uh, mm -hmm. overall, good games. Um, definitely saw some good plays there, even with the uh, almost comeback from... Uh, <laughs> From uh, I, was Shrug. Pulling, I was pulling for him so much. Yeah. I, I thought, okay, well, they're, they're coming back into this. They got some cheeky good kills right there in the mid. They're feeling good about themselves. They're feeling, you know, on top of it. And then, you know, the, the hammer dropped from Get Lit. Yeah, and the, uh, there was no turning back from The there. Sundering, the Maw, the, uh, the, the Entomb, just... The, there, was no, there was no answer for that combo. I mean, it was just... It was devastating. Excellent Greymane play from W Dog. Nine killing blows and a grand total of forty-seven thousand hero damage. Um, he was on point along with the thrall securing kills uh, for Get Lit. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Well, uh, thank you all for attending. Um, this was a lot of fun, and um, I, I need to do less uh, conference calls like that. <laughs> attending. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you all for coming. Um, we're gonna. 
we can call it a night with this. Um, it's a lot of fun games, and uh, hopefully we'll be casting next Monday as well. So, uh, and depending on if uh, my co-caster gets back from uh, wherever he's going. Uh, uh, I don't know where I'm going. I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, have a good night, everyone, and thanks, thanks for watching.